Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saikon and today we're going into the service of the Emperor once again. The Grey Knights need our support as we are trying to battle the forces of Nurgle. We found out who our enemy was. So let's start our first real mission. And... Report. Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. You should evaluate your knight's armaments and ensure they are best suited to the battle at hand. Good. We're going to do exactly that. So we got a Justicar, a Purgator, an Interceptor and an Apothecary. Let's, for the first, uh, for starters, see, can we actually um, change the names. It appears to be not the case. The Nemesis Force Halberd. Choose which Halberd you would like to equip. Your... Okay. I just want him to shut up for now because I want to see if we can... Hmm. We cannot change the character itself. All right. Uh, the character's name, but Auric here is our boss for now. If I ever find out how to change the names, then rest assured, uh, viewer characters will be included. Okay, we're starting with a loadout, shall we? So, we got a couple of melee weapons, and what are they good for? So, swords are dealing four points of damage. 50% chance to get parried. And struck with a melee attack, 50% chance to cancel it. So swords can parry apparently. Okay, what are halibuts uh, going to do? Four damage, 25% uh, whenever an enemy moves into a jace to the unit. It has, oh, uh, it's a bit of a blade storm ability on halberds. I like that. Falcons. Uh, four damage, five percent bonus chance for critical strike. That sounds not too bad. Then we got the good old demon hammer, and that's just straight four damage, and a warding stave. Three damage, twenty-five percent at the end of uh, the knight's turn. Twenty-five percent chance to activate his Aegis shield automatically. Ooh. Okay, so that would be the more uh, defensive route. I like Halberd because that's not too bad. And we got a couple of uh, special weapons for the quote unquote early backing bonus of the game. So, what is the, ch uh, what is the cha uh, change here? So that is 5% extra crit. And this here would be a plus one crit damage. Okay, you know what? Let's just use uh, Derek's Reach. I like that. Seems like a decent weapon to me. I li also like the idea of a big fat demon hammer, but uh, I haven't... Let's just check one thing. More crit. No. no, we're sticking with the halberd. I like the blade storm. As a ranged weapon, we got a couple of storm bolters. Uh, he's not the main storm bolter guy, so we're not going to give him any special storm bolter. Auric uh, should lead with his halberd. As an armor, we can take Terminator armor. Oh. oh, look at that. Yeah, there's... There's only war. 
and terminate armor will help us with that so two armor great much more tanky i like that and then we got war gear slots do we take a frag grenade or we got a service sword target ally in range heals five and that has one ammunition okay Units affected by Purify have their affliction removed. That's not bad. So that would be a, a, a quote unquote a mad kit. And equipment. Okay, and we could uh, alternatively get more spell points. But I'm still wondering what we're using our willpower for. So I'd be careful not to give them that. But. Let's equip the uh, Medikai uh, skull because I want a tank slash uh, healer for him, which looks like a good start in terms of character. Oh, mm. okay, there we go. Let me fix that real quick. All right, so we got Jim Mulot Kane. In case you're wondering why did I pick Jim Mulot, well, if you comment on a lot of my videos and if you're a free current viewer, then that is uh, the bonus, bonus that you're getting. So, Jim, welcome to the team. You're going to be uh, the captain of this run. Good job. Uh, let's move on to the next night, which is a purgator. Uh, we have, I've not checked the uh, abilities of the purchaser, but they seem to be kind of ranged weapon specialists. So let's start with uh, what I know about them. Ranged weapons, currently Psycan. Let's take a look. So Stormbolters are the smallest ones, right? Four damage, ten range. Then we got Psy, Demi uh, Psy Cannons, five damage, ten range, but lower amount of uh, ammo then we got the psi lancer which looks like an auto cannon of sorts 14 range i like it uh, direct fire assault suffered minus one damage penalty against targets that are further than 50 percent of the range and okay activate to add a disrupted on a turn uh, on an enemy with uh, ranged attack and scatter shot okay so I, I see and then we got the nice little incinerator mm, tasty set a flame hazard of an arc depletes all ammunition weapon cannot cause stun damage interesting hmm what are we going to do guys I like a psi cannon but I also like the idea of a flamer hmm. let let him go with a psi cannon 10 a reach get overwatch has the most damage of all of the weapons. But only two ammo. Here we would have four ammo, which means reloading is not a big problem. And more range. I like that. We're going to take that big fat auto cannon. I like range, that is good, which means less moving and more shooting, shooting. And more crit chance there we go look at that bad boy fabulous melee weapon does everybody need to have a melee weapon well I suppose yes and no were these the ones that could parry That's extra hit damage. Sword was parry. Okay. Good. In which case, listen. We're just going to give you Actor's Brand. Oh, no, 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 no. You. I see how it is. No, 
you don't you don't want that. We want uh, this here. No melee weapon for you. Okay, cool. Armor types. Cannot wear Terminator armor. War gear. Uh, is definitely going to use a grenade. And now I just need to finish the character. All right, we're back. So Zoe Zabers is the next character. We need to a little bit abstraction here. Zoe is a female, uh, a female uh, subscriber of the channel, and uh, we don't have any female uh, Space Marines uh, other than the Sister of Battles. But they cannot be Grey Knights. So. Um, imagine for a moment that this is still uh, Zoe, a male version of her, and we have our second character, which brings us to the Interceptor, which I think is midi DPS, potentially. So let's find a good loadout. Grabbing a melee weapon, uh, are we going to go with the Falcons? For extra crit chance, this here would be a big whooping fat 10% extra crit chance, or we're taking more damage on the Falcons. How does that look like? Ooh, that looks good. I said a demon hammer wouldn't be bad either. Just look at that. It screams, hit him in the face. Or nice little force sword hmm. or a nice little force sword that would auto parry because they don't have enough uh, enough defense by themselves zero armor here they were just going with uh, daring's edge Or we're going for that halberd as well. No, no, no. And maybe we're using, maybe we're using the staff on our tank. So real quick uh, thought process here. Sorry for taking so long, but how about we're just equipping that staff? And then there is a 25% chance for Auto Aegis, uh, making him even more tanky. I like that. And here. Mm, ah, three damage, not good enough. I changed my mind. All right, I promise you it's the last change. Good. And I want to uh, check another weapon, so we're just going to go with a sword for now. Uh, armor is fine and I think we're taking another grenade but uh, as a ranged weapon we're equipping another storm bolter better one which brings us also to his storm bolter good let me update the character Look at that, we got Ender Senders, aka Ender Center, wielding that a big blade. And finally, we come to the Apothecary, which I think is the support character in um, all of this. Uh, we got all of the good Storm Bolters claimed. Uh, can't take any heavier armor. Power armor, it is. We're definitely going to go with a servitor scope and has the Northicium melee attack strike and chase target to deal three damage and one uh, additional crit damage. Oh, we got Northicium down here. Okay, cool. And Target an ally within range to heal for five. That's good. <clears throat> That's very good. Equip in a Narthicium with a little bit more damage and uh, 
before we do anything here, you take the standard storm bolter and you should take the better uh, bolter. I like that. Good. Which brings us to the last uh, question. Who's this character going to be? It is going to be Linus Hale as an homage to Lina Hansen, one of our other uh, subscribers that is commenting very kindly and she always uh, felt like not asking uh, to uh, take a character. But here you go, a uh, little surprise, you are in the starting team. Uh, Linus Hale. Unleash me, Hale. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander, that's it. Good, we got our team together. I absolutely like what I'm seeing. Uh, so we're definitely uh, we're definitely ready to go into that mission. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. Okay, um, how about we're moving to here? Does an Aegis shield cost us anything other than 1 AP? We're going to check whether or not it does. Nice little 5 shield. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, the Purgitator is the other melee character. No, the Purgitator is not the mini character. What am I saying? That is the range character. Santo. This here is the melee character. On my way. Good. And Linus moves into full cover. Bloom rises to 20%. Okay. The warp surge meter indicates that each turn, based on the planet's corruption level and whatever uh, expend of willpower and psychic abilities is used, um, it will fill up. Once the meter reaches 100%, it will trigger a warp surge. Okay, turn down the music a little bit. So, what we want is Jim, Anders, Venus, and Zoe. Fortunately, you can't color code them, really. Linus moves up. And Linus moves up even further. Ooh, Powers us. Just wait, just wait. Purge the beasts. Interesting. So how many AP do we have left over? Oh, combat just started. I see. My blade is yours. What does that do? Teleports to a destination within range. Oh. Okay, I like that. But I think we're yes, going to go with the um, Purgulator first, Zoe. But. Where can we position ourselves? I think over here is bad. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All of that is possible.
That's not bad as a shot, but I think if we're shooting here, what does this erupt shot do? Select the target, deal four damage, and he is disrupted. Okay, let's try that. I am his will. <laughs> Okay, what does disrupted mean? Not sure. Wait. Okay, so the number means how many AP you have left over. Got you. Good. We're moving into full cover. We're giving ourselves armor because that seems like a really good idea. Then we're just overwatching. Cool. Let's move into Seeking full cover. Chaos stirs within the shadows. And we could overwatch to here. Sure, why not? I will hold them here! I don't know what that means. Why can we... <clears throat> what does that mean? Hmm, maybe that is... Refreshing our ammunition. I don't know. Good. Linus moves up. Uh, gets himself an Aegis shield. So it seems like a good idea if you're in half cover. Interesting. It bleeds. It bleeds. Plenty of overwatch that these guys are doing. Okay. My blade is ever ready. Here. We're starting with a good old fashioned grenade. Chosen. Then we're moving over here. Hmm, okay. The range 14 isn't as much as I thought it would be. Very interesting. All right. Me. Battlefield medicine. Heals our friend. We got, uh, we used some, Your orders. some psychics. Oh, it's just, uh, that was, a, well, that is a problem. Teleports over there. More psychic used. And... This will deal a little bit of damage. Does it interrupt the overwatch? No. Okay. Ooh. Cybolt uh, taught him a good lesson. Unfortunately, we're at 70% uh, now already. Standing ready. Um.
No, we don't uh, want to trigger that. We don't want to trigger that. Instead, we're moving all the way over here. And are killing this guy. As and when they move. Can't really overwatch. Why can't we overwatch? Okay, so you can't overwatch with heavy weapons. That's interesting. Yeah, we're not in cover over here, which isn't that great. Hmm. It's interesting that you can't slide into cover. Yes, sir. But this is okay. And this here means once they move forward, we're going to punish them. Come at me now! Blue meter rises. Standing ready. Good. Hi, sir. Ah! Enemies destroyed. Nice. Okay. So we're out of uh, combat again. We know the next fight is somewhere down there. Affirmative. Just trying to bring all of uh, the. the... Let the hunt continue. I'm just trying to bring all of them into the somewhat of a formation. So Frontliners or melee characters to the front what line. Is your will? Taking position. Defenses. The Aegis shields us. Oh, I think the Aegis also... Uh, it's psionic, so it potentially triggers... Uh, triggers that as well. Commander. I sense a massive spike in warp activity below. It is a warp surge, Inquisitor. Such events are common in pitch battles between psychers. And yet your brothers have clearly restrained their powers. Something foul is at work below. Good. Minus one willpower for now. Okay. That automatically means... I am here to serve. That we have a limited amount of time until we have something quite debilitating uh, negative effects, right? Right. Yes, Commander. I am here to serve. Your orders? Affirmative. Good. Um, listen, we're ending the turn. Wait, that creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural plague. Nice. Entering combat, your characters automatically refresh their action points and reload it. Cool. So, I want our purgator. Zoe, which by the way could also be a male name, so. Uh, to move up here. I am, I am his will. I 
will need to examine this corpse and... <laughs> I will oh, not tolerate oh, 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 oh. this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow properly. Zoe, my man, what just happened? Effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. What's that the mission? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, we learned something about the warp. And we got a nice little mission out of it. The last fight was hilarious. Just going in and completely obliterating. See, for those situations, it might not be too bad uh, to lend armor to another uh, to another chapter brother. Good. You've been awarded uh, plus 15 servitors and zero corruption. Everybody got a little bit of uh, experience, which is fine. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest wishes to speak with you in the Libras. you on this impressive archive of demonic law commander it rivals some I've seen in inquisitorial fortresses I will require it as a base of operations for my studies I respect your authority in matters of combat but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague I am of course open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission I must insist however I'm beginning my research with a necropsy of the Poxwalker carcass your brothers recovered. I am certain they hold a key to understanding this corruption. Okay, so research I menu it is. I will a necropsy of the recovered corpse to see what I can learn. Good, we're starting with uh, 30 days research time. Poxwalkers uh, discovered maybe a sign of a malevolent force. I'm certain that uh, the carcass is, is I shall begin at once. Inform your crew that I am not to be disturbed. Good, and there seems to be a lot that you can research. I actually like research trees. Come they on, make it a bit I easier. A lack of resources. I request you attend me in the manufacturer. The Manufactorium, aka Engineering Bay. Servitors have restored the Manufactorum to operational use, but the edict remains severely damaged. Without access to a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby inquisitorial enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. Okay. So that reminds me a little bit about uh, of Battletech, where you can uh, slowly kind of rebuild or upgrade the ship. Plasma reactor damaged, construction locked, augmentation chamber dam uh, damaged. Uh, okay. 
So, so let's go into the ship status. Power output in order to conduct more extensive repairs. Plasma reactor has been damaged. Twelve servitors for six days. I must now interface with the logic engines. I trust you have a great deal to attend to. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. I suggest we bide our time until the Dominus restores power to our scanners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. Okay, interesting. So, Plasma Reactor is back to operational. Let's start with the ship. So we got an augmentation uh, chamber which will take a longer time to repair. Improved reactor output one. Hmm. Why don't we have enough servitors? We only got 10. Good, this here will increase the research speed. Uh, the reactor will improve additional projects, I get it. And the warp drive will increase uh, the ship speed. That sounds important, so... But we need more reactor output and that requires more servitors. We got void shields, we got gun batteries, we got the good old exterminatus if things aren't looking great then we declare exterminatus on it and then hull repair okay the barracks we're okay at the moment mediation chamber that requires uh, improved output as well. The Orgurium has been damaged. Prognostica benefits restored. Okay. Okay, and you can always only repair one thing. This here will take 40 days, so similarly long. Understood. Commander, let us be efficient. I will not have the edict put at risk, even for the ship will win affirmative. Okay, we can apparently get a little bit. He was beaten to find the Ecclesi waiting for new input. I am repairing the damage. Affirmative. I will not have the edict put on the ship for the bit. That is the okay. waiting for new input. I am repair waiting for new. I must attend to repairs. Cool. We both have work to do. This one appears to be some kind of host. An object is nestled within. It is different from what I've seen with these puppets in the past. 
If we must, my research beckons. But that's still in progress, so we really don't know much about it. We really don't know much about it. We got our core team at the moment. And that's pretty much all that we do have. What does Hector have to say for himself? Let's talk over what troubles you, brother. It seems the Emperor has other plans for me. I hope that aids you, brother. Okay. Come. It was a strict sub seems by by all means. Seems the M by all means. I hope that aids you, brother. Come. Let us talk. Seems the Emperor had a matter between I hope yet why indeed. It is not my by all means. I hope. Okay, so after we talk to everyone here. You have my attention. The Grey Knight divining the visions of if we must my research beckons. Okay. Uh, plan of view. Star Let's map. Ready ourselves for the trials to come. Although our skins are un uh, show undeniable signs of corruption, the sector appears to be dormant for now. You should advance time until enemies reveal themselves. Awaiting your orders. But why? We do have corruption over here, and we do have corruption over here. I want to go to the corruption. Duh. You would want to go there as well, wouldn't you? Okay, what does the star map tell us? There is... Is there a quest here? Hmm. Something doesn't fully make sense. So we do have one out of five blips, but what does that even mean? Um, let's get an info here, okay? Or radius prime. One out of five. Then how about we're going down there and finding out a little bit more. Apparently that's not possible. Good. Blood spawn detected. Three new mission. Commander, our prognosticators have detected this bloom in three separate systems we should examine one of them select the system I have with identified a mission. this planet as a mission location to combat the bloom let us examine further why can i not just take this sector here instead from here, you can see some details for this mission, including the resources that Titan's Armory will make available to us if we are successful. Danger level low. Enemy reinforcements too. Oh, we get a grimoire. Cool. I like the servitors as well. Hmm. What does the red bar mean? Like here there is a lot of green. Here there is just a little bit of green. I think it's the progress of uh, the <clears throat> the progress of uh, that uh, illness. Well, let's travel there. Oh, it's the time that you do have available. Okay.
Okay, we got ourselves a mission. It isn't great that we um, spend some time in traveling, but it isn't perfectly, uh, um, it's not a perfect problem as well. We're going to do that the next time though. I want to keep the episodes to half to an hour to 45 minutes for now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to prove that you're not a secret cultist of Nurgle, uh, click the cleansing like button. Elsewise, I must uh, suspect that uh, you are already infected by that virus. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.